one of the fundamental rules of golf is to play the ball as it lies. And sometimes those lies can be brutal. Thick rough, wet sand. We're gonna put those brutal lies to the test. We want to determine once and for all, what is golf's worst lie? To find out, we've called on a pro with one of the best short games in golf. PGA professional, Brad Faxon. With 19 wins worldwide, including eight on the PGA Tour, Faxon's been one of the game's best for over 15 years. So what's Brad's technique for getting his ball out of nasty situations? Like this thick rough. For the worst lies, most players on the PGA Tour use a sand wedge with a lot of loft. 60 degrees is the most loft I use. My stance is open to the target line. And shots like this out of the thick rough, the club head actually never comes in contact with the ball. It goes underneath the ball, through the heavy rough, and pops the ball up into the air. Our Phantom High Speed Camera confirms that his club never comes in contact with the ball. It simply pushes the grass, which in turn sends the ball up in the air. These principles apply whether Brad is hitting out of thick rough or fried egg lies in sand. In fact, even when hitting out of water, there's an inch of water between the club face and the ball. When you go out to practice, do you find the worst spot possible? We go for the worst stuff. We try and recreate anything. You, you can't find a lie that I haven't seen. All right, Brad, that sounds like a challenge. We're going to find a lie you can't possibly get your ball out of, which means we're going to create the strangest and worst buffet of golf lies imaginable. First up, popcorn. I don't think anybody's done this. <laughs> popcorn is only 1 60th as dense as water. But is popcorn dense enough to pop the ball out of the box? After all, the club won't be touching the ball. So the light and fluffy popcorn has to do all the heavy lifting. moved and look how far ahead the club head is. That is awesome. That one's going straight up. So the popcorn was no match for Brad's short game. What if we put his ball in a denser material? Something denser than even thick rough and water. That looks like jello. It's jello. <laughs> Depending on its temperature, jello falls somewhere between a liquid and a solid. That's disgusting. Yeah. The ball is already set in jello. In the jello. That's nasty. Oh. Ah. Can Brad get his club through this unappetizing lie? Brad can get a club on it, but just barely. 
The muck is so dense that the chunk of jello he hacks out still clings to the ball. It didn't come out. It stayed in the jello. So far, our PGA Pro has been able to get out of everything we've put on his plate. So it's time to raise the bar. We need a lie that's thicker than the thickest rough, something even denser than jello. And that something is spaghetti. No way. Fork and a spoon here. Ugh. Spaghetti is 10 times thicker than the nastiest rough on the planet. Oh, that's, that's worse than the British Open stuff. That's gross. Ugh. That's brutal. Ugh. I think this is going to be the hardest shot we've seen so far. So can Brad escape this brutal lie? Find out when we return with another serving of sports science.